Hello everyone, my name is Dr Bevan and I'm the Assistant Head Teacher in charge of Behaviour and Attitudes. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about what we call culture for learning. In the school year, we will give the pupils all of the things that they need to complete their lessons here. You can see a picture on the screen of their pencil case and how it should look. Once they've been given out, it is the responsibility of the pupil to make sure they've got everything they need every day. If it runs out or is broken or they lose it, they need to replace it quickly. On the right hand side is another really important thing. We call this an achievement card. Every child at our school carries an achievement card every day at school. It's a great visual way to check up on how your child is doing as they go through the school day. Each week they get a new achievement card and we need you to check it and send back the old one. These are some things that I've found out in the time that I've been a teacher and also being a parent. First of all, school day is really busy. Moving from primary school to secondary school can be daunting to a lot of children. We've got a lot of things that they need to remember, so having a good routine at home is really important to your child's progress. Each weekend, try to check their uniform, make sure they've got all the things that they need. Check what homework they should be doing and if need, supervise them while they're doing it. It is really important that we all spend time reading with our children. Make sure you know what your children are reading and that it's age appropriate. After school each day, it's a good idea to check in with them about what homework is going to be due the next day. Although time is pressured in the morning, I would suggest that we check before your child leaves for school that they've got everything they need. They can be quite anxious if they forget things when they get here. The beginning of each holiday Definitely check what work needs to be done. Children have a great way of leaving it to the last minute and putting pressure on you. Also, try and find time to check what uniform issues they might have. And don't forget, each week we need that achievement card to be signed. I would like that to be done on a Tuesday evening, please. It's always important to keep an eye on things with your child, and there's never a more important time than when they're moving from primary to secondary school. A good routine is to check their achievement card every day. In that way, you can see what progress they're making and deal with any issues as they arise. Check their homework as well. Make sure you know what is due and what they should be doing. They should be able to explain it to you. If you need any further information, then remember the school website has information on things like uniform and other pieces of useful advice. When contacting the school, I recommend that you use the inquiry email or contact the front desk via telephone. This is preferable to asking for an individual member of staff who may not be available. On the screen, we've got key staff that you can contact about individual issues. When we move to a new school, children can be anxious about consequences and they may talk about getting a detention and things like that. It's important that you focus on the positive things, what rewards are on offer, but there are of course consequences when people don't things in the way they should. With regards to rewards, think carefully about their achievement card. We want to see as many ticks on there as possible. We want to see teachers awarding merits for good work and kindness and all of the many virtues that we subscribe to. As your child goes through school, there'll be weekly prizes for different things, and also we can build towards bigger rewards. Staying positive about your child's education is the best way to ensure their success. Of course, when things go wrong, there need to be consequences and children need to understand that. These are some of the consequences that your child may experience. They could lose some free time. They could be asked to come back after school. Remember that if your child is staying more than about 10 minutes, that you should be informed of that. If your child gets five or more negative marks on their achievement card in a week, they'll be in detention with me on a Thursday afternoon. This is a way of underlining to them that we really must focus in lessons. You'll be reassured to know that each week we find the vast majority of children go through the week without re receiving a detention. For more serious matters, we may say a child, send a child to work in the Emmaus Centre or to do some work briefly in the central cover area. This is a way of taking them out of situations which could get worse during the day. If a child is going to spend a long period of time uh, in the Emmaus Centre, for instance, a day or more, then we will contact you and talk about what that is. Finally, for younger children, 
where they are still learning about our, our boundaries and our expectations. We also have the Emmaus Centre placement. We will consult with you before a child goes on a placement and they are there to be used as a positive thing, a way of rehabilitating and helping the child understand our behavioural norms. In closing, I would just say, children can be quite nervous about coming to secondary school. Some aren't at all, and they're quite happy to come in. We're very much looking forward to meeting them all, and we're sure they're going to do really well here at Cardinal Wiseman.